Hey everyone, Scooby-Doo here and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to modify your 1997 Power of the Force Red 5 X-Wing. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a look at the box for the Power of the Force Luke Skywalker Red 5 X-Wing fighter. Now Power of the Force actually did make two different ones. They made one in 1995 and then again in 1997. This is the 97 style. And I believe it's a little bit larger than the 95. Also, too, there's some other things like um, the 95 had an empty cockpit. This one has the Luke inside of it. Uh, there was some different kinds of coloring uh, in the back part of the X-Wing as well. And so I decided to go ahead and go for this one. And, um, yeah, I'm not sure how thrilled I am about uh, Luke being inside the cockpit, but we'll address that once I get everything out of the box. All right, so I got everything out of the box. I actually wanted to show you the X-Wing without the decals on them. However, when I opened the box, um, I guess the person I purchased it from had opened it previously and they actually put all the decals onto the X-Wing. But what I did do, uh, or what I was able to do, I was able to remove the uh, Luke figure that was inside the cockpit. And it was kind of easy to do. You have to, um, on this back side, there's a bunch of different screws like right here. And there's a couple of screws inside of the battery compartment uh, that you uh, have to take out. And then it kind of comes apart. It doesn't come completely apart. There's actually a wire that's connected to both sides. So when you do pull it apart, if that's what you want to do, just be kind of careful uh, with that. But then once you do that, it does open up enough um, to where you can um, unscrew the cockpit. There's two more screws. And then the only thing else attaching it uh, to the X-Wing is there's actually a cable. You can see this is part of a lever here. There's a cable that when you move um, one of these switches here in the back, there's one that does the R2. There's one that does the R2 right there. And that's also connected to this cable, which moves his head back and forth. So you do have to cut that. Um, there might be a way that uh, you can unhook it, but I decided just to cut it. It just was easier that way. And then once you cut it, you can actually take the whole cockpit away from the vehicle. And then the only thing attaching him to the cockpit is there's this bottom piece right here that fits through the bottom of the cockpit and it's glued. Now you can either try to get that glue off or what I did is, is, what I, did is I just drilled out a hole and made it easy for me to uh, take it off. And then I uh, painted the cockpit black. Uh, there is a little spot on the back of the cockpit where that cable would fit through. And I'll try to show you. And I just covered it with a piece of uh, tape, which you can see right there. I could have painted that, but I'm actually planning on uh, doing some dry painting inside of the cockpit itself anyways. So I decided just to leave it, uh, the blue tape like that. That way it gives it more color. I know the camera's not really focusing in that much. There we go. But yeah, so. That's him removed from the cockpit. And you can see here all of this is decals, which I kind of don't really care for. That's one of the negatives of this X-Wing. And what we'll try to do now is I'll kind of manually kind of come back and we can compare it to, I believe this is the Hasbro Vintage Collection um, X-Wing. Now the difference is obviously this is a red three and this is a red five, which is the red five is what I wanted. I probably could have painted two more stripes on there, but I kind of like the idea of this one being electronic and having sound. So yeah, but as far as the actual vehicle goes, this one's more detailed. Uh, everything is painted on it. It's actually a little bit larger uh, then the other one, try to pan back a little bit. But it doesn't have the sound to it. But it is more detailed uh, as far as the plastic sculpting is, uh, is concerned. 
So it's depending on what you're wanting. If you're wanting sound and something a little bit smaller, but a red five, or if you're happy with having a red three. All right, I wanted to show you some um, black wash applications. I already did some of it already. Show you the difference between this side and then the non-black washed area. Quite a bit of difference. Now I'm still gonna go back in here and, and clean some of it up. I can just use a wet sponge. Uh, but also too, I wanted to show you here on the side. And the decals actually are starting to blend in with everything, so it doesn't look uh, it doesn't look like a decal now, actually, to be honest with you. So this side I did with the black wash. And now I'm going to show you what the other side looks like that has not been black washed. Quite a bit of difference between the two. I'll just flip this over this way. You can see all the extra detail you get. And I'll just show you really quickly how easy this is. I'll try to anyways. So I got some black wash. I got a big brush. And all I'm going to do is just get it into all the... I'm going to get all the black wash into the cracks and stuff. Really simple to do. Again, I prefer to do this off camera because it's just, I don't know. It's not as easy to do when I'm filming. So I got that on there. You're like, oh shit, that looks terrible. Oh, there's the batteries going off. So then I'm just gonna come back with a paper towel and I'm gonna wipe off the, the excess, the excess. Sorry, this is a kind of a hard vehicle to hold and black wash at the same time. But you can see how all the stuff's starting to come out now. Now I can let this dry, and actually I could let it almost dry completely, and if I feel like something is a little too dark or it looks a little too dirty, I can actually come back with a wet sponge and kind of rub harder get some of it off before it completely dries, but you can already see the difference in the details. So again, uh, with doing the black wash, I really would suggest doing it as long as you don't mind like modifying your vehicles. Like, you know, if you're gonna keep them in a box or keeping them all original for value, um, then obviously you're not gonna wanna do it. But uh, if, you're gonna, if you're gonna be displaying these items and you wanna make them look less like a toy, <clears throat> excuse me, and more like an actual like model vehicle. Um, just add some black wash. All right, so I finished the black wash, and before I get on to the dry painting, I did want to uh, make one correction. I, I uh, had mentioned earlier that the Power of the Force X-Wing is a little bit smaller than the Vintage, and actually they're basically the same size, so... Um, did want to make that correction. Also, too, to point out a few other features, the uh, viewfinder in the cockpit that does light up. That's one of the uh, electronic features, as well as the back engines. Uh, they also light up in red, and you also get a little handle that attaches to the bottom of the X-Wing if uh, you did want to play with it. And it has like a little extra, uh, the little thing here. So you can shoot. And that makes noise. Also, too, it comes with this little plastic rocket. I think that also launches out of somewhere. Uh, but I'm not using it as, as a toy. I'm going to be having it on display. But I just wanted to point those other two things out. Um, so with that said, let's go ahead and get to the dry painting. Okay, on to the uh, dry white painting. Or just dry painting in general. I actually started to do uh, one side of the X-Wing, you can see. Now, if you're thinking you don't really see anything, 
because it blends in so well, let me show you the difference and we'll go ahead and uh, start on this side. Like I've said in other videos before, uh, a lot of people do the black wash, but they don't ever do white painting. And we'll try to show you on here. Uh, we're just going to put some marks along the edge of this jet here, jet intake. And we'll just put some, uh, sorry, I'm trying to get a good angle here. i put some other markings. And you can see how that's kind of made that show up a little bit more. We'll do the same thing over here. Actually, this is kind of hard because I'm actually looking through my camera while I'm doing this. I'm not actually looking at it. But you can see how it highlighted a little bit. Show you here on the edge as we start to make some happy scratches. Just right there. There you go. And we'll put in another happy scratch right there. There we go. Just a happiness right there. Just sort of mix color on the brush. Shoot for maybe. Maybe back here. Ooh, there's a nice one. There's a nice one. You ought to be able to really see him. Little fireball. Nice little bright one and a happy one. Maybe there's one that lives in front of him. Pushes him back. Guess we uh, channeled Bob Ross there for a second. <laughs> uh. So you see how that just brings out the edge? Um, here, let me show you. I'm going to try to get in here because it's... Sorry, this this is kind of harder to paint as far as doing the filming because of the size of the vehicle. The last one I was able to hold in my hand. This one I really can't do that. So just right there, you can see how all, all of a sudden those came out. Show you two on here. I actually started to work on this one already. I think it just moved over. I don't have any room. In the same way the black wash brings out the lines, so does the white. Now watch this area down here as I start adding some of this white to it. See, it just all of a sudden changes it. So all you're going to want to do with, re with really any kind of vehicle that you want to make look a little bit better do the black wash come back with some white dry painting now there's some other stuff you can you know I could add some other colors to this which I did on the uh, snow speeder I added uh, some red but if you're doing something that had like lights in it you can obviously use a green and in different colors. Watch how we're going to get right here in this edge. We're going And again, I'm not really like painting, painting. Uh, the paint I'm putting on is kind of already dried on the brush. There's not a lot on it. Which is also nice too because if you make a mistake on something, you're not really going to put that much paint. There we go. That just brings out the edge. 
Okay, I'm gonna get kind of closer to it if I can with the camera, but it's just starting to bring out every little detail that your model has. See if we can get in here as well. There's some little crease marks. Uh, like like right here. Oop. Camera was it? Oh, there, right. So right here, I mean, you have the detail of the uh, black wash, and I got some in the crevice right there. I'll let the camera try to focus in, and then I'll try to work my hand in here. Dude, this isn't focusing. What the hell? There. Okay, so you see all the crevices now. Watch when I add the white. I'm just putting just a little bit on there. Same thing, I'll get right in here, like right in this corner with the white. See, there's just a little bit of white on here. Actually, I need to spray a little bit more. And again, I'm using the uh, I'm using the 99 cent white spray paint from Walmart. Um, there's a bunch here on the um, wing itself. There's a bunch of little like nodule nodule things, little squares that are sticking up that are kind of hard to see. But put some white paint on there. going to bring those out. There's one right here. Now that just kind of brings it out. So there you go. If you pulled away, now you're starting to see the details. You can see where I added the white on here. See where I added the white here, the white up on here. So, I'm going to continue to go and mess around with this. I'm just going to keep adding until I think I have enough. And then we'll be finished. Uh, when I'm doing stuff like this, I, I can actually, because I have so many of these paint brushes, because i got a big bag of them, I can actually work on this for like 10 minutes or something and just leave it here and come back later and just pick up where I left off and I could add some other colors. But see, now you can really, it's hard to, it's hard to really describe when it's on the camera like this, but it, it, it becomes, it becomes like less of a toy that you just purchased out of a box and more like a, like something you spent a while like building a model it like it just starts coming out all right so this part of the segment is running long enough so I'm gonna go ahead and stop the camera I'm gonna continue to work on it same up here you can see where I already put some around the edges of the uh, cockpit door So I'm going to finish up doing this, the turrets, everything else, and once uh, we come back again, I'll be all finished and we will have the completed Power of the Force 1997 X-Wing Red 5 completed and up on the display with the uh, Sideshow 1-6 scale Luke Skywalker pilot. All right, be back in a moment. Right, here we go, the completed, make one little mark on there, all right. Here's the completed shelf with the uh, modifications. I think it came out well. Pan this up a little bit. So now we have electronic one, which will add even more to the display. And it's a big difference from the other X-Wing that we had right there. I can't express how easy 
this is. It's just too, too easy. Isn't that right? Oh, oh, shit, that's just too easy. No, 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 that shit is too easy. It's too easy. No, no, no. Shit is too easy. Fuck it. I don't even play no more. I'm through. I'm through. I don't play no more. All right, so that's it for this build. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below. Um, some of the other stuff with the cockpit you can see inside now. It looks a lot more detailed that we took that Luke out. And it just gives you, uh, you know, you could just have your Luke figure all by itself or you could add a few little things. Uh, also, too, you have the uh, rubble speeder there. Uh, I did a different video on that uh, uh, a while ago, uh, showing how to add the lights. Yeah, so that's it. I uh, hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend. Uh, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. And again, any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Until next time, we'll see you. talk to you guys later. Ah, play with these things. I'm going in. <laughs> this could be fun.